the overtime rules for the NFL playoffs have been under the microscope for the last couple of years. Notably, last uh, last playoffs where it was the Chiefs and Josh Allen and the Bills just they went after it, but Joshy Joshy boy didn't get to touch the ball in overtime. Sort of is what it is there. And they pass a new rule at the NFL owners meeting today. Uh, rap sheet go playing uh, rule proposal one was amended. Both teams are now guaranteed a possession in overtime, but it's now postseason only. It was approved per source, right? And uh, th- they talked about some of the data. Uh, Rich McKay, competition committee uh, chairman, blah, 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 uh, said since 2010, there have been 12 postseason games that went to overtime. The team with the ball first has won 10 uh, of those 12 games, and seven of those wins came after a touchdown on the first possession. Now, the, the tw- uh, 10 out of 12, it's whatever. It's complete randomness. This, I mean, 12 games is not a size, sizable enough sample size to be like, hey, this is definitively uh, what goes on here in, in terms of uh, causation and trends in terms of if the coin toss does have an effect. But what uh, stands out is the 7 out of 12. So under the, the previous rules, if you scored a touchdown a- a- as the team who had the ball first on your opening possession, you win. Got a W. So only seven of those twelve times did the other team not touch the ball, right? So I, I, I don't know. I think that it's a bit of a misnomer here. It's a bit of a red herring, uh, but it sort of is what it is. I understand. It seems a little bit more egalitarian that everyone gets to touch the ball uh, in overtime, even though I, I'm a bit of an old school curmudgeon. Like I, I fully admit there isn't a perfect solution to overtime. Sudden death didn't seem right. I thought that. First possession, get a touchdown, win. Like So first possession, you, you take the opening kickoff, you're probably going to start at the 25. If you're able to march 75 yards and score a touchdown, I think that's enough. Uh, I think that is a W uh, because the other team, well, we didn't get to touch the ball. Your defense could have forced a punt and got the ball back, man. So uh, also, I think the teams should be incentivized to go for the win in regulation as opposed to if they really do think that it is uh, you know, up to a coin toss in overtime, maybe try to take care of your business uh, in the 60 minutes that you're allotted, whatever. Uh, but now it goes possession, possession, then sudden death. I, I don't like the college rules. Like it's it's entertaining. Don't get me wrong. But I, I don't like that it neuters um, so, uh, something in terms of special teams, in terms of punting and field position. It takes away a third of the strategery of the game. Don't like that. You could just play an extra quarter, but what if you're tied after that? Right, so there's not a perfect solution out there. But what was interesting is that the Minnesota Fighting Vikings, they voted against the resolution. Uh, so Albert Breer, uh, the three teams that vote against the amended overtime proposal to allow for each team to have a possession in the extra period for playoffs only were the Bengals, Dolphins, and Vikings. Well, Dolphins don't have to worry about uh, uh, postseason for sure. Bengals, whatever, Vikings, blah, blah, blah. And Chad Graff clarifies the Vikings position per source. They did vote no because they didn't support that you get unlimited time on your possession to answer a score. But the Vikings support both teams getting the ball in overtime. So you sort of understand it. So say the first team goes down, scores a touchdown in a minute, and if you're playing a full 15-minute extra quarter or whatever it is, uh, then, then the other team gets unlimited time to potentially answer, or well, let's, let's take it to the other side. So say that um, say that team A gets the ball first, and they take up 10 minutes of the 15-minute. Uh, again, we don't know how much they're allowing in, in uh, the extra overtime frame, but say they take up 10 minutes, and then the second team only has five. Is that fair? Yeah. I think what makes sense is you get the exact amount of time that it took for the first team to score. Uh, you know, a touchdown, field goal, or whatever. So if Team A goes down and scores a touchdown in five minutes, Team B gets five minutes to answer it, right? Uh, so you just put that on the clock, and then it's played like a normal game. If if Team B doesn't score, or if Team uh, B runs out of time, game's over, right? So again, there there is absolutely no perfect solution for the you know the playoffs. I, I'm glad that they only made it uh, 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 postseason uh, for o- the overtime rules because this during the regular season where a handful of games do go to overtime, uh, no. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, but for player safety, yeah, but let, let's keep extending the games out as long as possible, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Vikings voted against the playoff overtime rule change, even though it's still passed. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But till next time, Skull Production Value.